In the not too distant future, I'm moving home. And sadly, that means I lose this workshop space where I'm going to won't have this kind of facility. So what I'm doing is building storage boxes, which will contain the most useful tools and equipment and consumables, but still look good around a home. This is my first attempt at building something and it's turned out looking quite good, I think. So it's uh, a few stackable storage boxes. They're three independent boxes, which can be kind of stacked together any way round you want. They can also be locked together and the whole thing can be lifted up and moved. The idea being each one of these contains a different type of thing. So for example, screws and fixings, glue and tape. And so you then unstack the one you're interested in and take it off to wherever you're working. To build these, I started out with 12 mil birch ply. And for that, I cut a base out and two short sides. Now the, these are potentially gonna hold a lot of weight. So I needed a, a strong way to fix the base onto the sides. I tried using kind of uh, dowel pegs initially, but that didn't work particularly well. So I ended up cutting a kind of a rebate into the sides and set kind of gluing and fixing the sides onto the base. That way there's not really any chance of it kind of coming apart. It creates a very, very secure, very strong joint. After trying and failing to get a particularly good cut using a table saw, I switched over to using a router table to get a, a kind of a good clean 12 mil channel cut out. With that all in place, I kind of set up all the three boxes to glue and dry. They've got a four mil kind of birch ply front just to reduce weight. There's no real strength needed there. So it didn't seem to be much point in adding kind of extra weight. Along the long side, I've attached strips of kind of hardwood. These act to strengthen the thinner sides and they also form the lips which allows the boxes to kind of stack and lock together. I wanted some way to secure all the boxes together so that they could be transported as a single unit without kind of sliding apart. The, the locking mechanism does a pretty good job the stacking mechanism does a good job for that but I wanted something a little bit more so I used a couple of box latches along all the sides now I started out using a kind of quite a neat little latch but the problem was it would the locking piece would stick below the surface so when you kind of sat a box down it would dig into the ground which is why I then subsequently changed to a slightly cruder style of latch but one that would work very well for this application Fixing them on was really easy. All I needed to do was locate and set up two pairs. And then I just kept on rotating and moving the boxes around to use the alignment from one half of one set to fix the alignment of the other set. The boxes are all varnished on the outside. So every bit that you can see externally, I've used a satin varnish to give it a, a hopefully a tough, durable finish, but yet also retain the pretty decent finish you get from birch ply. Inside, I've used uh, just kind of a white kind of gloss paint. That, I've used that for two reasons. One, so it's easier to see what's inside when you're looking around, and also to hide some of the crappy glue joins which I didn't clean up before they dried. The lid is made from 12 mil birch ply once again, but I have doubled up the edges a little bit just to give it um, kind of a slightly better appearance on the side and also to give me a little bit of space to put the kind of the kind of rebate in for the kind of stacking mechanism. It was also kind of necessary for the, the latches on the side, the clips that screw onto the side, they needed that kind of extra height. But the end result is a, again a top which looks good and will stack onto any individual box you want. stacked together and filled up, it looks a bit like this. I've got all sorts of tape, electrical tape, gaffer tape, and other interesting bits and pieces in the top one. Next one down, I've got screws, nails, and all sorts of other fittings.
and in the bottom one I've got um, all sorts of different kind of glues and adhesives. <laughs> 